opponent has entered the national park and already some interest. We've seen some crazy. So guys, we've just seen an elephant that's right in front of us. A host is just over there. Stick. Most expensive thing we've done in mm. this trip. Hey, I'm Kieran and this is my better half Maddie. We both decided to leave the UK at the start of 2023 to follow our dreams and go travelling full time. This is our Sri Lanka series. Good morning guys, so we are currently in the Jeep on the way into Yala National Park. Today we are doing the safari. It's just gone 5am and the sunrise is so beautiful. So we're just waiting to get through uh, into the park. We've just had some hoppers, so Maddie will be enjoying some at the moment. But yeah, we're looking forward to it, so hopefully we'll see some leopards, elephants, many birds. So we've only just entered the National Park and already some interest. We've seen some crazy, and it's not an animal. We're literally in the chief behind my hangar. I spotted him like next to us in the queue, and I shouted to Maddie that same. And he was like in front of us, and he was like, no, 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 it's not. And then he turned out, it's definitely him. So we are literally in the chief behind my hangar in Sri Lanka. If you don't know who he was, he was the health secretary and got caught on having an affair we are looking out for leopards. Apparently it's on the rock. I thought I'd seen it, but then you can see. There it is on that rock. You can see him all the way over on that rock up there. And it is, oh look, oh my god, it's massive. So one of the main reasons we decided to do the morning safari was because there was a higher chance that we'd see a leopard. And literally, like, the first half an hour, we've seen one. And it was huge. Like, I was not expecting it to be that size. So, very good start. So guys, we've just seen an elephant that's right in front of us. Breakfast time, so tired. Where's yours? Let's see what we got. What we got, my dear? I'm pretty hungry as well. I'm so tired though. Oh, that's looks good. We got juice. Orange juice. We got some juice. Oh, no. Egg, is it? Egg. Yeah, egg. Egg sandwich. And banana. we have banana. What do you think, Karen? Mm. I'm glad we got protection from the monkeys over there, though. Nice breakfast. Mm. Our host is just there with them. Stick. How long ago would it have died? Uh, normally, like a, like a human, nearly 70 or something. Yeah, and how long ago would that one have died? Uh, two weeks, the finish. Two weeks ago, so that's yeah, a. Two weeks ago, yeah, yeah, the nearly three, two weeks, nearly three weeks, yeah. So that's a dead elephant bones. It's been there for two weeks. And the skin was eaten from other animals. Yeah. So you probably can't see it, but we have another elephant right in the distance over there. And then we also have elephant rock over there. Double whammy.
Right guys, we have just made made it back home. I can't even get my words out, but I just wanted to give a big shout out to our host Yannicky. He was absolutely amazing. So if you are looking to come to Yala, he can definitely help you out. He will take you into the national park. He will show you all of the beautiful wildlife. He will stop and allow you plenty of time to take some beautiful pictures. He's got over 20 years of experience, so you will get the best of the best. He will even get up extra early for you and prepare your breakfast and when you stop for breakfast he will even bathe outside and protect you from all of the monkeys so we will leave his details in the description. Right guys we've just came out for some lunch. We're pretty hungry as we've been on the go since uh, this morning. We've gone for the traditional rice and curry so the five types. We've got some dal, we've got some sort of mixed salad, sambal, sambal green beans, um, spinach and like a potato curry it's really really nice um, but we just wanted to reflect really on the safari so you have the option to do the half day or full day we decided to do the half day and you can leave in the morning or in the afternoon but we thought it'd be nice to do it first thing so we left from our homestay at half four this morning so it's an early start but it was definitely worth it because we got to see the the sun coming up which was a, it made a beautiful color in the sky um, and it's, it's good to leave that early because the park doesn't actually open till six o'clock, but anyone leaving sort of, I don't know, maybe closer to five, you, you're then stuck at the back of the queue because the queue does like pick up pretty quickly. So it was a good job we left early on. Um, and in the safari, oh, it was amazing. Like just seeing the, the wild animals was really cool. Like I've never actually, well, we both haven't done that sort of thing before. I've done like a safari in the UK, but like it's, it, you know, it's very different. It's but very this, different, yeah, yeah, it's very different. Like a wild safari like this was something new to me. And it was like an amazing experience. Like I say, seeing the animals and just like the adrenaline of waiting to see something was so cool. Yeah, and also they are, <clears throat> they are in their natural habitat. So it's very different. Like you can't, in UK, when you go to safari, you can feed them and things like that. Mm. In this case, you wouldn't go near them because yeah. they would just attack you to protect themselves. Mm. Oh, this is so good. You have the option to do the full day safari, which starts from like 4.30 and finishes just after 6. But mm. I think like the half day was more than enough for me. I was yeah, so tired. Yeah, we got tired. to see everything. Um, but yeah, loads of people do do it full day. Mm. But yeah, no, I was happy. Like Maddie said, I was happy with the half a day because we got to see everything. We've seen the leopards, we've seen the elephants, uh, the buffaloes. Crocodiles. Crocodiles. Um, the wild pigs so yeah pretty loads of birds it's a really cool experience and and the guy we had was so nice like he, he, he was very experienced he like knew where to go and um, because it's quite a big uh, national park but a few interesting facts about it because we stopped in a museum actually on the way back and um from what i read uh, there's they're in different sectors the yala national park and sector one is one of the densest po uh, population of leopards uh, in the in the whole world. So it's got one leopard every 1.1 uh, square kilometer, which is apparently one of the densest po uh, in the world. So that was really interesting. And we managed to see two leopards, uh, five elephants, and there's only 25 leopards in the whole national park. So to see two of them in you know in the whole Yala National Park was pretty cool. So yeah, I, I'm so glad we did it. Yeah. It was the main reason we came here, wasn't it? So Yeah, yeah. It's very good. It's definitely, it was the most expensive thing we've done in this mm. trip. It cost us 42,000 rupees, which is about 100 pounds and just over 100 something dollars. Yeah, I'll put the cost in the video, but it'll be around about that, I think. Yeah, yeah but it was so worth it. And mm. you don't really get to experience wild animals. And that has really made me want to go to Africa and yeah. see them the proper safari not that this isn't proper but like no really lions. famous yeah yeah anyone. but yeah this was so good and like for me i i enjoyed it so much and i'd highly recommend um if you're coming to sri lanka excuse me um to add yala national park onto your list of things to do because it's definitely worth it right guys after lunch we just had a chilled afternoon i may or may not have had a little nap but we're just getting ready to head out for dinner that is it for today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure you stay tuned as tomorrow we are heading across one of the most dangerous roads in Sri Lanka. Three, two, one, I'm going for now. now.